What I did will make you think twice about growing your company and how to do it. I'm Aaron Ware and I've scaled my business from half a million dollars a year to $20 million a year in under three years. One of the crucial things that I did in being able to scale like that was for starters, remove my tradesman thoughts and put on an entrepreneur hat and start to think in different ways, having a different mentality and a different look on things. Now the conventional way, if you're a tradesman out there and you wanna grow your business is to go, oh, I'm getting a little bit bigger. I'll put an ad out there, I'll find another tradesman, I'll buy another truck, I'll set up that truck, I'll buy tools, you know, invest you know, 20 to 30 grand, sometimes 50, 60 grand, depending on what sort of stuff you wanna buy, which is very, very, very limited and is a very, very slow, painful way to grow. That's why you see businesses that have one to four trucks, you know, it's taken them like three or four years to do that. Anyone that's in between the four to 10 trucks, they've, they've probably been around for 10, 20 years. It's absolutely ridiculous and a crazy way to do it. It's fine if you wanna play it safe, fine if you want to take your time and do things the mainstream way, the long and slow painful way, but I'm going to show you how to do it shortcut from my little secret to success. First thing I did was get that mentality out of my head of hiring a, a tradesman that's an extra wage on your books, buying another vehicle that's just capital straight up that's going to crush you or it could be an extra vehicle lease which is adding to your overheads and fixed expenses every month. First thing I did was increase sales. Number one thing that you need to do is get out there, start selling yourself, adopt a script, adopt a story, adopt your prices, adopt your methods, adopt a system, get it all structured out into a folder that works. If you're scared of sales and you don't know how to, reach out to me, I'll teach you, I love this stuff. And the next thing I did, once I had this story and I had a script written and it was ready to rock and roll, then I introduced another sales rep. Now you're probably thinking, well, what the hell, why would I wanna bring on, that's exactly the same as bringing in another electrician on a wage. Well, that's where you set them up from day one. They work on commission only. That's right, you only pay them for the amount that they bring in. So you work out your fixed costs, your, your profit that you wanna make, the profit that the business needs to make, and then you give him a set price with how much cheddar is in that for him to make. So he now has to go out there and he needs to work his ass off, fly your flag, sell as many products and systems or services as he can so that he can now pay his mortgage off and feed his family, which in turn feeds your family. In life, there's two awesome ways to get an easy passive income. One is obviously property, the other one is through sales teams. So if you build up a sales empire, where it's kind of like a waterfall effect, where they all just start pouring into your business, you bring on another sales rep, train him up, he brings in more business for your sales rep, he only gets paid when he makes a sale, it's not costing you anything, it's like free income coming into your business and helping you expand. The next thing that I would advise, once you've got this system worked out, it's a long process if you don't know what you're doing. That's why I'm making these videos. I want you to reach out to me. I can shortcut the out of it and help you get to where you need to be so we can start hiring these sales guys tomorrow. Once you start having these sales guys entering your business and you start to go, holy shit, I've got more work than I know what to do with. What do I do now? Aaron said not to hire another electrician, um, blah, 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 blah. Subcontracting. Now this is where it gets great. There's a lot of guys out there that just want to be one man vans. They just want to shoot around. They just want to do their job and go home. And these are the guys that want to, you know, have fancy jet skis and motorbikes and play up on the weekends and go to dinners and dates and stuff like that. That's fine. That's their lifestyle. That's awesome. These guys are going to make you rich. Now you have become powerful because you have all the work in the world so you can dictate who works for you, how much you want to pay them and when they can do the job. You gain control when you have an influx of sales coming in or jobs to install or repair work, whatever you want to call it, whatever your business niche is. That's all coming into a, like a massive bucket. Now you want to have control of that with a scheduler. You want to organize schedulers to be on your team. They'll schedule the jobs. They'll have a list of installers or an army of subcontractors, if you will, on a spreadsheet. Have their names, their business, the areas, the locations they work in, their average cost per unit. Um, their average call out fee so that you've got that factored in so you can work out you know who's going to go where set it up we like to use an app called service mate it's pretty user friendly get the guys to have an ipad now this is critical for maintaining your quality um, you just tell the guys from day dot you can set up a workflow on the ipad so it's like jsa 
attached, completed, customer 100% happy, completed, getting a signature sign off. I go way further in depth with that. If you're an electrician, you could have testing results, photos of the installation, maintaining quality from the desktop of your office or in Bali, wherever you wanna be. So you've got sales coming in for nothing. You've got um, installs happening with no overheads. They only get paid when the job's done and sometimes a seven day um, turnaround when you're telling them from day one, they do not leave the house until they get payment. So cash is just coming in, bang, 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 bang. You got plenty of install arms out there doing it at a, at a cheap, great rate. You're maintaining quality from the office with the procedures and stuff that you put in place. Um, and then you just slowly start to expand. And you'll start to find, when you start to have a communication with these young guys or whoever you've got working for you, you can start to negotiate better rates. You know, at the end of the day, if you're filling their books from Monday to Friday, these are guys that were used to spending thousands of dollars on advertising to get their, their number listed in the yellow pages or whatever they were doing to try and get a job. They were happy to get a phone call that afternoon for a job tomorrow. If you're turning around and going, hey Joe, I'm filling you up from Monday to Friday, you don't have to spend advertising, you know you're gonna get paid, you're not spending time chasing payments, blah, blah, blah. I'm injecting all this money into your business, let's talk about a better rate. And then you watch, this guy will start to talk to his friends and then you'll start to get a network and this thing will just overflow, it'll just blow up, it'll go crazy overnight. I know you, some of you are wondering, well, that's my business, I don't want some random cowboy rocking up in his ute you know, stealing my business, well, it can actually get to a point where you've got such a good relationship with these guys that why not give them a uniform? Why not put a magnet on the side of their truck? It's exactly what I did and no one's none the wiser. If you need any more hints or comments or tips on this, give me a shout out. I'm Aaron Ware. Take it easy.